Hi everybody, my name is Brianna and I'm with the Clay County Public Library. Joining me is Xavier from Xavier Riddle and the Secret Museum. And today we're going to have some fossil fun. I am Mary Anning. Yadina built a dinosaur. She is very excited. Brad is confused. You just made the head, he says. Brad looks at her other projects. Have you finished any of them, he asks. It takes too long, she says. To the secret museum, Xavier cheers. The friends see a fossil. It is a bone from an animal that lived a long time ago. Then they see Mary Anning. They wonder how she can help. The friends put their hands on Burby. They travel to England in 1811. They see a girl digging in the dirt. It is Mary Anning. Mary shows them a fossil. It just looks like a lump of dirt. I haven't cleaned it yet, Mary says. Mary's brother Joseph joins the friends. He wants to look for more bones. Mary wants to finish cleaning. The friends wish they could go digging with Joseph. Cleaning takes too long. Done, Mary says finally. It was worth the wait. When you start something, it feels good to finish it, Mary says. Mary invites the friends to come dig for more bones. They have to be careful and take their time so they do not break any of the bones. Mary gives each of the friends a little hammer. Searching for fossils is hard, Yadina says. And dirty, Brad says. Xavier wonders when they will find some dinosaur bones. It can take a really long time, Mary says. I found something, Joseph says. The friends watch as he brushes away the dirt. It is a skull. The friends wonder what kind of animal the head belongs to. Xavier thinks it is a dinosaur. Yadina thinks it is a unicorn. Brad thinks it is a butterfly. Joseph starts to leave. What about the rest of the fossil? Mary asks. Everybody knows the head is the best part, Joseph says. Yadina thinks about her dinosaur head. She agrees with Joseph. When you start something, it feels good to finish it, Mary reminds her. The friends continue to help Mary look for the whole dinosaur. The wind blows hard. It starts to rain. Brad is cold. Yadina is bored. Xavier is sad. Maybe we should give up, he says. I found something, Mary says. Yadina comes closer. That's the bone from the secret museum, she says. It's a flipper, Mary says. Just imagine how good it'll feel to find the whole thing. The friends help Mary dig. They find a tooth. They find more bones. Finally, they find the whole dinosaur. We see tons of fossils at the museum, but somehow this one is way better, Xavier says. That's because we kept going, Mary says. Yadina thinks about her dinosaur again. It is time to finish it. Back at the museum, Yadina and her friends work on the dinosaur. They make the body, then they paint it. Finally, it is done. It feels good to finish it. Then she looks at her other unfinished projects. We better get to work, she says. The end. Wasn't that such a good book and... Doesn't it make you want to find some fossils? Yeah, me too. So if you'll join me and Xavier, then let's figure out a way to find a fossil of our own. So even though looking for dinosaur fossils is really hard, I actually have a way that's really easy and you get to make your own. All you need is some Play-Doh and some sort of toy. But be careful, because Play-Doh will stick to a lot of things, and you don't want to tear up your toys for this. But don't worry if you don't have any Play-Doh at home. You can just help me. First, we're going to take our Play-Doh, and we need to round it off into a ball so it's easier to spread. So if you've got Play-Doh at home, do this with me, and even if you don't, you can follow the hand motions. Place the Play-Doh in your hands, cup the Play-Doh, cup your other hand over top of the Play-Doh, and we're going to move our hands in a circular motion, going against each other, just to get this Play-Doh into a nice ball. And there you go. Place it on the table. And now, with a flat hand out, you're going to press your palm to the Play-Doh and push forward. Then push back. Push forward again. Push back again. Now. Flip it over so you've got a nice flat surface to work with, and this is where you're going to get your toy. Take your toy, and whichever side that you want to see in the Play-Doh, 
face it down and then pick a spot on the play-doh. Now, if you're not doing this at home, put your fingers out and help me push this down into the play-doh. One, two, push down into the play-doh. Good job. Now be careful, peel it up, and look at that. We've made our first fossil impression. Let's go ahead and flip this guy to the other side. And again, help me out here. One, two, push down into the Play-Doh. Perfect. Let's try it with the pink Play-Doh now. All right, put the Play-Doh in your hands, cup it, circular motion with me. Help me form the ball of Play-Doh. Perfect. Flat hand one more time and push down on the Play-Doh. Push down on the Play-Doh. And don't forget to flip it. Alright, let's try our toy again. This time let's do the top of his head. So we're going to place him right here. Fingers out. One, two, and push him down into the Play-Doh. Good job. Now let's try his bottom part. Fingers out and push down into the Play-Doh. Excellent. Now let's go ahead and try the back of his head. Set him on the Play-Doh. We only need one finger this time. One, two, push on the Play-Doh. That looks awesome. Now We've got two really nice dinosaur fossil impressions. If you've got any old Play-Doh or even some old clay lying around, you can also use a leaf or maybe a feather and make a nature impression because those can become fossils too. Just make sure you wash your hands and stay safe. Okay everybody, the code word is fossil.